Do you know what my favorite part of being in a relationship is? I would say the sex. No, it's not a sexual thing. It's the simple things. Like, like waking up in the mornings together, alone in our own little corner of the mm -hmm. universe. And, and he would get up and iron his shirt and, and I would lay there pretending to be asleep. I was watching him and, and he would come over and kiss me on the cheek and tell me he loved me and leave to live his life. Those simple things that are so mundane, but they meant the world to me because they reminded me that I was in love and he loved me. Or so I thought. I would say the thing I miss most about being in a relationship is is just being so comfortable with a woman that we can just talk while she's in the shower and I'm taking a shit. That's very romantic. I guess guys are just a little bit different. So did you ever get a chance to uh, talk to your boyfriend? No. Part of me never ever wants to talk to him again. But on the other hand, I kind of miss him. You know, he was a good friend. And just simple things like going to the supermarket, you know, I miss. That is the thing I hate about women. I mean, why is it that girls are always complaining that the guys only use them for sex and then like your boyfriend comes along you know, and cheats on you and then, and then you say you miss him? Why, why is that? I don't know. That's what makes me so mad. I guess you just get used to someone. I'm not saying I want to get back together with him. I I just want to know why he cheated on me. I guess I need my closure. You, you'll, you'll end up going back to him. I mean, all chicks do. I mean, people are, are, are too afraid to try something new, so they would they'd rather, you know, stay with someone who treats them like shit and, and because they're too afraid of being single. They, they would rather just stay with what's familiar. What do you mean familiar? A relationship's just like a job, okay? Um, when you first start a job, if you don't like it, you can quit and walk away without feeling bad. A relationship's the same way. You, you go on a date with a couple, you know, a couple times with a person, and you know, if it's you find out they're not your style, you just let them go, not feeling any remorse about it. But then, after a few months, you just it's harder for you to break free from somebody because you've already invested the time and the effort, and you just just rather put up with all their shit because you're used to it. I mean, a job's the same way. I. If I had the backbone, I would, I would leave SRC in a minute. But just like last night, I was, I was there to 3.30 in the morning, and I had to be there again at 7 this morning, and I just fucking hate it. I just wish sometimes that I had the, the, the nutsack to just quit and move on. Well, now you know why it's so hard to walk away from someone even though they broke your heart. It's fucking pathetic. I know. I still can't believe he cheated on me. I mean... Am I not attractive enough? Do I suck in bed? No. You're beautiful. That's what he used to say too, but apparently he was lying. I don't get it. Why do guys cheat? Because they can. I'm serious. I mean, why would someone do something that would break the heart of the person they're supposed to love? Honestly, because they can. I have talked to a lot of guys and they are assholes. And, but women are attracted to assholes. And everybody knows that an asshole is going to cheat on the girl, but the girl is always shocked when he does. So it's my fault that he cheated on me? No. It's not your fault that he cheated on you. It is, however, your fault that you trusted him. Well, if you knew he was going to cheat on me, then why didn't you tell me? Because I, you were so damn happy. And I figured you probably wouldn't listen to me in the first place. And part of me was hoping that maybe I was wrong, Maybe I just was hoping that you'd find out on your own that he wasn't Mr. Right before you know something bad happened. Well, how could you know he's the type of person who cheats? Uh, I don't know. You, sometimes you just know people. Besides, didn't you say he was in a frat? Yeah. Let me get this straight. This is the guy who had his doctor lie to his parents, saying that he had a tumor so he can get money to get liposuction for his tits, so he can be nice and firm and, and tight. That was him. Uh, and, and, and yet, how could somebody so, so deep and in, in morally endowed do such a horrible thing? How could that be shocking? Okay, so maybe I'm a little retarded for trusting him or even for loving him. But it um, still doesn't answer the question. Why do guys cheat? Honestly, I've given this a lot of thought. And... I've come up with several theories. 
Um, I believe it's when people stop giving a shit about love. I mean, uh, think about it. Let's say you have a kid and he, all he does is watch his parents fight and get divorced. I mean, how is he supposed to grow up and, and, and know how to love somebody if the people who are closest to him can't even, can't even teach him what love and respect is all about? But a lot of people from divorced families, you know, don't cheat. You know, and, and they try to make it work even better because they don't want their kids to go through the same thing. Yeah, you're right. But, but some don't. I guess you're right. My other theory, I think, would have to do with maturity. Well, guys do mature slower than girls. Yeah, yeah, but girls cheat too. You, you see, my main theory about why people cheat is out of revenge. Okay? Let's just, uh, let's just take, for instance, high school. You got all the freshman girls going for the, the senior guys because A, they, they, can, they have cars, they can drive, and they're captains of the football teams. And meanwhile, all the nice freshman guys are left behind in the dust, um, heartbroken. So by the time they become seniors, they then turn around and go for the freshman girls because they're easy targets. And then this, this carries on into college because underclassmen girls go for the upperclassmen guys because they can buy beer and, 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 they, and they know where the parties are and they got their shit together. So the, the, the nice lower classmen have to wait till they're upperclassmen so they can turn around and go for the younger girls because they're easy targets. They can wine them, they can dine them, not worrying about if they get hurt because they don't fucking care. It's a never-ending cycle of, of heartache and revenge. It, it's the strong versus the weak. And the truth of it is that the nice guy finishes last. So that, that's why we become players the second um, we give up on love. So are you one of those nice guys that's going to turn into an asshole that cheats? I used to think that I would never cheat because I felt that I would meet the right one. That's another reason why people cheat. It's because they, um, they jump into relationships that, you know, too quickly or they settle for someone who uh, it's not exactly what they're looking for. You should never settle. I agree. But it's getting pretty damn hard because I'm quickly losing faith that there is a woman out there for me. A good one at least.